right, now we are on the uh, love story for Leo. I just did Gemini. Oh, wait, we're on Cancer. Okay. All right, we're on Cancer now. Okay, I already did Leo and Virgo. Okay, so this is where it stops. I did all the readings for the love predictions for now until... I don't know if all of them were love predictions. Some of them were just... Okay, but anyway, the love, all signs singles all the way into, uh, I did all the signs, and we're on um, Cancer now. All right, who's coming towards you now to December? Cancer. Oh, okay, so that could be a Leo for somebody. Libra, Leo, Libra, Taurus. Okay, so for someone, there's a Taurus sign that um, it didn't work out so great. And I don't know that it will. But I feel like uh, there's still affinity there. Like, you could be cordial or have friends, be friends again. Okay, something like that's coming. Okay, okay so it was like, see, that's what I was talking about. It was like... You thought you were soulmates, but then you you are soulmates, but uh, it it wasn't a match. Gemini reverse, okay. And in fact, there were some things there that were said that uh, wasn't so pleasant that lingers still sometimes. Okay, so that could be like the sting there if it's coming in from Gemini. Okay. Why is Gemini? Earth. That's a double Sagittarius there. Sagittarius, Sagittarius. Huh. So for someone, Sagittarius energy is strong and the pool is strong to a Sagittarian still. Okay, let's see. What was this? Okay, so fire sign. The sun is transiting what? Virgo! Oh, I get what it's saying. Okay, the sun is transiting Virgo. So whatever that was said in communication that wasn't positive, it's like being illuminated. So you will heal that. That's the message, Sagittarius energy, Chiron. So it's like you will heal that. Also, Chiron is in retrograde in... Aries so if you're kind of in that boss Aries energy it may feel like you want to go back to the past and mend some things okay so I don't feel like you need to but I feel like if you can just assimilate those experiences into the now as wisdom uh, wisdom tools now I feel like there's a time thing ticking on your head here what is that I got some I got a secret 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 oh that's a sticks that's a sticks song sticks and stones may break me my bones but may words can never harm me but I feel like you're letting them in somehow cancer okay so that could be the pearl all right Anyway, what I want to say is Mercury was in, I feel like it still is, retrograde in Virgo, right? You could be connected to a Virgo. But that not positive communication hmm, is improving, though, with this um, sun transit. It's like illuminating whatever wants to be communicated. So I feel like that's the key to success here. Open communication, even if it comes out funky, maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mercury. Yeah, that's what I was getting. Okay, so um, I feel like even if it is still retrograde, I feel like that sun transit is going to improve. So Communicating, I feel like, is important, but being mindful of what you say, right? Okay, yeah. So it's like purifying your thoughts and words. Woo! To a Pisces for some of you. Okay. Neptune is in retrograde right now. 
So there could have been some fiery communication towards a water sign. I want to say it's a Pisces that has this Aquarius that was harnessing this Aquarius cool energy. But it's like, it feels like they kind of suppress feelings and then it might have blown up here. Okay, or vice versa. All right, so let's see. All right, so I feel like that's the energy that could have called for raising the bar, raising your energies on both sides. Yeah, that's a water sign here. All right. Okay, so whatever it is, it's calling to amend and bring balance to it. If you're focused on this energy and they're going back and forth, I want to say um, keep your focus on your dreams and desires. Okay, I would not get involved with that. They know what they're doing. All right, so here's like staying steady and staying strong. And this week the Taurus story has been... Although Uranus is in retrograde and uh, Jupiter, I want to say that the dreams are still coming true, so keep planting those seeds. It also has been saying this week for this energy that stay in that divine feminine energy uh, to bring in your world, that compassion and love is a power. Okay. I feel like what you want is someone that can go deep with your emotions, too. It, I don't feel like you're satisfied with just um, kind of a mundane, basic relationship, I want to say. Yeah, see, bam. So this is telling me that in the future, now to December, you're going to see the fruits of your labor again. It's coming up. Okay. Oh, wow. Look at this. Saturn uh, retrograde in water. So that's Pisces. You got Neptune and uh, Saturn. That's Pisces. Okay, so for, this is a Pisces story for someone. Okay, so let's see what's, what is, what do both parties really want? Okay, let's ask that. Friendly support. Fairies, guides, and friends give aid. Okay, so I want to say, this is for the Pisces side. They want you to, although you may not understand who they really are or how, how they are, and you may not understand deeper levels of them, and they're kind of like mystical world, but they still would like to see you support them. There's two here, so are those sons? I'm not sure. Okay, we did get one son. Okay, all right, but anyway, um, so they would like to see uh, you be supportive. Okay, there is still a physical attraction though, no matter what, and I feel like that's undeniable there with the Pisces. There is a gravitational pull to each other. Now, okay, if you're here and you're a Scorpio or Pisces and you're thinking about a Scorpio or Pisces, this is your story. <laughs> there were some outside influences there um, that could have affected the connection, but the, the desire to be together is still there. Okay, now. All right, so spirit, this is like the Gemini soulmate story, repeated, okay. So this is what both sides dream, but they're not doing that, okay. And it may take this kind of fearlessness. Oh my gosh, it's the same story, look, and I shuffled. Spirit, soul, fearless love, and love language, physical touch. And look how many cards there are. Let me shuffle more. <laughs> Disguise. 
some elements of this relationship uh, is hidden okay and that's if you're a masculine i feel like it's on the man side okay masculine or man well i want to say it's a man okay you are worthy your worth doesn't depend on the other person okay so what i'm getting is I'm getting like Elizabeth Taylor energy a little bit. It's like you've had several relationships and it's like you were close and intimate, but then something happened and then it's like solo energy again. But then people question your solo energy. Like, why aren't you in a uh, old fashioned relationship? Something like that. I don't know what that is. All right, so this is the crossing energy. Healing! Yes, hello! Healing. Uh, this is healing. Healing. And this was healing the soulmate connection. Healing you first. And then connecting to the soulmate. Healing that. And then the connection comes in. Okay. Cancer. That's what I want to say. All right, so it could happen... I want to say October to December, okay, for you all, okay, the connection. All right, now let's get a message from this stack. Let me see. I'm going to reach in here and see what heats up. I feel that there is nothing more truly artistic uh, that to love people than to love people. Feel that there is nothing more truly artistic than to love people vincent van gogh so i feel like you're connected to an artist type cancer okay that's for someone all right for the second time in history of the world man will have discovered fire and there was lots of it here <laughs> all right and then but see that's the thing though right when some there's been stories out there that when fire was discovered that's when all the trouble started okay <laughs> all right so all right so let's see all right let's get more love is uh the ultimate expression of the will to live okay see that's what i was getting in the gemini reading okay yeah tom wolf okay so I'm getting pack energy too. Okay. So I feel like cancer, you don't want to be alone. I'm getting like wanting to be with a tribe, something like that. Okay. Let me get one more. A smile is a curve that sets everything straight. Phyllis Diller. Okay. So maybe comedy. It's maybe it's a, yeah <laughs> from dark comedy to light comedy that's what i'm going to call this reading cancer i'll leave you with that 